Hi, my name's Kim. Welcome to my 7 Windows 7 Tips and Tricks video. We're going to quickly go through uh, some of the best things I've found in Windows 7. First thing I'm going to show you is the taskbar window previews that are very handy. I'm also going to show you the arrow snap and arrow shake features, which make manipulating your open windows uh, very nice and easy, great time savers. Also the snipping tool, which is great for screenshots. You can easily take a picture of anything you have on your screen and email it, copy and paste it into a document or save it as a picture file. Uh, also sticky notes that you can use to uh, have your little to-do list on your desktop and also a picture preview pane. Very nice for previewing pictures. And the last thing I'm going to cover is the reliability monitor. All right, very quickly, I want to move my taskbar. That's the taskbar on the bottom here. And this is not new to Windows. However, a lot of people ask me how to do this, so I'm including it. You simply hover over your taskbar and right click, and then move up to lock the taskbar, and you want to make sure this is unchecked. So I have left clicked that to uncheck it, and then I left click, hold it down, with the taskbar and move it to wherever I want it. You can move it to any side. And I want mine on the right. And I'm going to right click and lock it again so I don't accidentally move it. All right, now let's move on to tip number one, the taskbar window preview. Now this is a very easy one. Here's my taskbar. And the window preview automatically, when I hover over any of these things, shows me a little preview screen. Okay, well, that's not really new, is it? But when I hover over these preview screens, it opens up the window and shows me. So when I have my million documents open and I'm looking for that perfect one, I can just view it without opening it. And when I click on it, there it is, it's open. Now on to tip number two, arrow snap. Now, arrow snap is done by left clicking onto your title bar and then dragging your window up to the top maximizes it. If you click it and pull down it makes it to a smaller size and the coolest yet is click it, go to the left, it's on the left half of your screen. I'm working with a netbook so it looks pretty small but on a uh, regular size laptop or monitor it would be big. Now let's say I want to work on my Word document and I also want to view my website. I would take this and snap it to the left so I can work on both. So arrow snap is extremely helpful. Now on to tip number three, arrow shake. Okay, so if you're like me, you have all kinds of windows open and you don't want them all open all of a sudden. So I have three windows open here, and if I use the arrow shake, I left click on the title bar of the window I want open, and I shake it up and down, and it automatically minimizes every other window. Now if I want my windows to open again, I do the arrow shake again, shake it up and down, and my windows are back. Tip number four is the snipping tool. This has to be my favorite. I am a big screenshotter. It can be found in the Start menu, and there it is, Snipping Tool. You can take a picture of anything on your screen with that. Now, my friend doesn't believe me that I got Windows 7 for $29.99, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Snipping Tool to uh, show her some proof. That opens it up, and then I have a crosshairs, and I simply hold the left button down, drag, drag, drag to the area I want it to take a screenshot of, let it go. It automatically opens the snipping tool window and I can use the highlighter to show her exactly what web address it's at. I can use the pen to show her where to click. And if I don't want that, I can just erase it. Um, now I can choose to email it directly to her. I can copy and paste it somewhere or I can save it. And my saving options, I can save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF, or even HTML. The other very cool feature is, uh, let's say I'm 
doing my Word document and uh, I want to go ahead and copy and paste this in here for my project. I click the copy button and then right click, paste it right in there and there it is in my Word document, my screenshot. Now on to tip number five, sticky notes. You go to your start menu, you will see sticky notes in there and you click it. You want a new note. I don't have any notes up and you can write your notes and they will stay on your desktop. So I want to get milk. I also want to remember there's free student software at www dreamspark.com from Microsoft and I have my link there to use which is nice. I can start a new note by clicking the plus sign and I can get rid of my notes forever by clicking the X. So those are sticky notes. Cool Windows feature number six is the preview window for pictures. So let's say I want to view some pictures and I really like this because you can arrange them in many different ways by their tag which is awesome um, like I might have uh, eBay things so it's sorted those tags into my eBay items but the uh, preview mode I can preview the picture by clicking this little preview window and then hit the picture and a preview shows to the right. Very nice to go through all of them and that is the preview mode. Now we're down to Windows 7 tip number 7, the reliability monitor. To get to the reliability monitor you click the start menu, go down to the search programs and file and enter Relia, R E. L I A, click enter. It pulls up the reliability monitor and this is a tool that measures hardware and software problems. Uh, let's say you have downloaded something or all of a sudden your computer has started you know slowing down acting funky. You can look at this to see what you have done day by day. It shows uh, anything you have loaded. For instance I loaded um, Microsoft Office beta here and I can see that. I can click view technical details and it shows me that uh, Windows installer installed the product, uh, installation error status zero. So everything good there. And go back. It also you can see a line up here and that line you can see there's a scale from 1 to 10. 10 is the most stable and 1 is the least stable. So you would just look at this graph and when you see this thing like drop, that's when you really need to look at the list and figure out uh, what's hurting the performance so you can correct it. That is the reliability monitor. And one last tip, visit the Microsoft student site at www.microsoft.com forward slash student there's all kinds of uh, student goodies there, free software, software discounts, career information, and even a $2,500 student sweepstakes. So uh, good stuff. And also don't forget dreamspark.com. Thanks for watching. I hope these seven Windows 7 tips and tricks have been useful. I know they really work for me and I love Windows 7.